Hello everyone. In this video, we talk about how to find the valid host range using three rules, very simple rules. Uh, I saw many videos online that are uh, uh, answering this question in a very complicated way. They are making tables and using many steps to find the answer. But I will show you three simple rules. You will never forget them to answer any question like this in order to find the uh, valid range IPs for a given IP. So, uh, before we get started, I would like to go through the subnet mask formats. Uh, as you know, uh, we have uh, a, a format called CIDR or shorthand. The usually written like this. Uh, before before the slash you will see the IP address and the most common is the decimal format uh, which is 2550 and something like this and the binary and in order to convert convert between these you have to know uh, each uh, each subnet mask consists of four octet each octet consists of eight bits if the bits are all on you get 255 because you calculate these numbers and you get 255 for example if two of them are on for example like this one two two of them is on now so what you what you get you get 128 plus 64 and you get 192 as a subnet mask and uh, the cider will change because we have eight and two uh, bits are on so the total will be 10 this way you calculate and convert between CIDR and decimal and binary. In today's video, uh, we have two examples. Example number one uh, asks you to enter the valid host range for the network that the IP address is this. And the subnet mask is written like a shorthand or CIDR 19. So before we, we answer the question, we have to get the subnet mask from this number. So, uh, as you know, we have four octet, and in order to find the subnet mask from this cider, we need to turn on 19 uh, bits from this subnet mask. So, here we have uh, eight bits, and another eight bits. Uh, also, we make on three of them. We turn on three more bits from the third octet and as a total you get 19 and this 19 is that number which is given in the question so now uh, let's write this binary in a decimal format in order to get the subnet mask so uh, as i mentioned in the previous uh, slide each bit represent a number so if you calculate all these you get 255 255 and this 3 you get 128 plus 64 plus 32 you get 224 so our subnet mask will be 255 255 2240 now we are ready and let's get our ip address as uh, given in the question 172 130 uh, 146 133 so this is our subnet mask and this is our ip address so now let's get started so the first thing we need to find is a network id some people call it first ip number or subnet id these ips uh, is the first ip in the network and it, and it is not broadcasted to the host uh, and this means they are not valid ip address so the valid ip address will be network id or first ip plus one so Let's find this IP, then we find the valid or the first valid IP in the network. So, uh, as I mentioned, we have three rules to find the network ID or first IP or subnet ID. The first rule says if the subnet mask is 255, use the IP as it is. So, as you see, we have 255 as a subnet mask, so we use the IP address as it is without doing any changes. So we have 172 as, as the first octet. And the second octet, as you see, we have 255, so the, the first rule will be applied and we use the IP address as it is. And the third octet, it is not 
255. So let's jump to the last octet in order to apply the second rule. The second rule says if the subnet mask is zero like this, so we use zero. We don't use the IP address as it is. We use zero if the subnet mask is zero. And now one octet left and we apply the third rule. We have uh, a number 256, uh, some people call it a magic number. So we have the third rule here, we have 256 minus the subnet mask and we get 32. So we deduct the subnet mask from the magic number and we get a number. After we get that number, what we do, we, we have to uh, multiply this number by a number in order to get a number which is bigger than our IP address like this so 32 multiplied by a number should be bigger than our ip address this ip address so uh, 32 multiplied by 5 we get 160 32 multiplied by 4 we get 128 so the 5 is the biggest number we can get uh, in order to get a number which is at least equal or uh, bigger than our IP address. So 160 is a, a number which is bigger than our IP. We use a number B before that. So 32 by 4, we get 128. So we use that number without any change. We just straight away put it here. So the network ID or the first IP in the network will be 172.130.128.0. So this is not the valid IP. As I mentioned, the valid IP will be the network ID plus one. So the first IP or host in the network will be network ID plus one. So we get 172.138.128.1. So this is the first IP or the first valid IP in the network. And because the, the question asked the host range, we have to find the last valid IP in the network. So let's go to the uh, second part of our question uh, we found the subnet mask in the previous steps so we bring it back them all this time instead of network ID we find the broadcast IP or last IP uh, how we do that uh, we apply the, th the three rules with a minor changes the first rules the first rule says if the subnet mask is 255 use the IP address as it is same like the the one we mentioned before so we have 255 we use the IP address without any changes and we have another 255 so we have the another IP as it is and we go to the last octet if the subnet mask is zero this time instead of using zero we use 255 so the last octet will be 255 the second rule will be applied for the third octet which is not 0 and 255 so we have to do a small calculation uh, what we do we have a magic number 256 minus our subnet mask we get a number and this number we uh, multiply by a number until we get a number bigger than our IP address so uh, 32 multiplied by 5, we get 160. For the network ID, we use we use it uh, a number before that number. But this time, we use this number itself minus 1. So, 160 minus 1 is equal 159. We use this number as our broadcast IP. So, we put it here and we get the broadcast IP or last IP in the network. And as I mentioned, broadcast IP and last IP is not valid uh, IP because it is not or it cannot be used by any host. So in order to find the last valid host or IP, we get the broadcast IP minus 1, which is equals 254. So we deduct one IP from the last octet and we get the last valid host IP. So by this, we answer the question valid host range for this IP address. Okay, this is example number one. Example number two, 
so this is our uh, example number two we have an ip address and subnet mask i brought this example in purpose because we have a, a trick or something weird in the when we apply the third rule so let's go through the uh, the the steps and see how we find the answer so we have this ip address and this subnet mask so our subnet mask is this so because the subnet mask is given in decimal formats uh, no need to go through the conversion between binary and decimal format so and we put the ip address as well so our ip is 192.168.10.10 and then we find the network id and or the first ip in the network how we apply the rules rule number one says if we have the subnet mask 255 then we use the uh, ip address as it is so the second octet 255 so we use the, the same ip address and the third octet also is 255 so we use 10 and the third octet which is not 0 or 255 so we apply the third rule which we detect 256 from the subnet mask and we get a number and in the previous slide or in the previous uh, example i mentioned that we multiply this number by a number in order to get a number which is bigger than our ip address but in this case we have 10 which is already 32 is bigger than 10 so no need to multiply by any number we already have that number so 32 is the biggest number or the big, bigger number than our ip address no need to multiply and we mentioned that we use a number before that number so be 32 so what we have before 32 we have nothing we didn't do anything so we have zero so we use zero as a network id or subnet id and in order to find the valid host uh, what we do as we mentioned network id plus one so we have this ip plus one so we get so we get this ip address so the only difference is this if you get a number and the, the number is already bigger than our ip address so the only difference is this if you get a number which is already bigger than your ip address so you have to use zero as the ip so let's find the last ip or broadcast ip uh, we have the subnet mask and we have the IP address and let's find the broadcast IP the first rule says if you have 255 you use the IP address as it is so we use the IP 192 for the second octet same third octet same and the last one the third rule the magic number minus the subnet mask we get a number a number we multiply by another number until we get an IP which is bigger than our IP address in this case we already have a number which is already bigger than the subnet mask so we use the number itself minus one okay so we because this number is already bigger than the ip address we use it itself minus one so 32 minus 131 so the broadcast ip address is this number and in order to find the last valid host or ip address we detect one ip and we get 192 30 so this is uh, these steps were very easy for finding the valid host range for a given ip and subnet mask i hope uh, this uh, was a clear explanation how you find the answer for this type of questions if you have any question or anything you don't get it correctly please drop a comment if you like uh, the video you can hit the like and share it and subscribe for next video thank you for watching see you in my next video